<laughs> I just realized I've wore this video, this uh, shirt or this jacket, like on the last three videos. So please know I do, I do change and I do take baths. But uh, this is really warm and I really enjoy it. It's easy to work in. So excuse this uh, nice blue and red plaid I'm always wearing. <laughs> all right you can see we are in the deer plot today welcome to the max we are actually checking our camera making sure that uh we have some deer moving in i did get to hunt the other day i uh, saw a doe a real nice doe but just we're in bow season and she was a little too far from me so uh it was, was beautiful to see them and, and like i said we had about two or three coming to the plot on us that day so we're going to check the camera also make sure that the grass is doing good which the grass looks like it's doing wonderful um but really the main thing today is we've got to cut some more firewood it actually got cold and we've used all our cut firewood so we got that tree that fell originally on the fence uh we're gonna cut up today so busy day but uh not too terribly bad just enjoying this cool weather we've had the last two days so uh let's check the camera and then we'll go back up there and cut some wood I told you this is the first sunny day we've had in a while and uh you can see i'll show you how it's still cool i mean it's still very cool but look at this our bees haven't had a chance to just get out. Look at them. See if you can see them. Look at that. Can you tell that they're just flying everywhere? They're out and about today. It's supposed to warm up to 70 one day next week. If it does, I'm going to go inspect the bees just because we, um, I mean, you know, this is, we have never pulled fall flow. And usually we pull fall flow around late October, early November, but we've actually had cool temperatures. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I may leave it because it looks like we're going to have a longer winter than we were used to. But we've still got to check and make sure. So I'm, I'm proud to see them out though today. I don't think there's really anything blooming, but at least they're out and about. Got our Shakely's H2, our White House apple cider vinegar, and we're gonna get them taken care of. We have held, we've let them come in and eat. And a way that you can make sure your cows are drinking this water, just got the benefits to it, is what we do is we'll restrict water just when we move them. We won't put their water back, you know, real quick. And what it does is they'll eat hay or they'll go eat their protein or start eating grass and grazing and when they're looking for water we know that they're looking for water we'll hold it for another 20 or 30 minutes let them keep on grazing and then we'll put water in there because that means all of them are going to come straight to it and then we know that we can get them drinking that water that's got all the benefits to it before they nasty it up or before <coughs> anything nasty is it up for sure so let's get in here and get it filled up well we lost most of our peppers but at least the um, the peppers and the plants can come to the pig, and they're absolutely loving them. We've thrown them to them, also some old pumpkins. So they're having a blast eating this this fresh vegetation. Are growing big they're actually getting bigger kind of than big. they're actually getting almost as tall as some of our american guinea hogs that's probably four or five months older than them so they're doing really good though all right as you can see i've already got some firewood loaded that was some older wood from last year uh it's not the best quality but i'm gonna burn it because that's it's all it's good for but you can see all the wood that i have that needs to be cut up from that tree that fell and also i took another tree out when i put old bessie right there and they got a lot of wood back there so it's a bunch to cut up i'm not gonna cut up all all today because i don't have to 
So I'm at least cut up at least some of the smaller logs and some of these middle size. All these big, big ones I hate to try to cut up with my little saw. And also I don't have a splitter right now. So, um, and, and by hand, this is just too, too fresh and too green to try to, to break it by hand. So I'm gonna at least get the little stuff cut up and log it. That way it'll be ready to uh, utilize. No, they're not mine. They're yes, yours. they are. No way. Well, we're going to end this video. We're looking at the cows because they're like therapy to me. You hear me with the tractor. I've got to go take some hay to uh, Allie, but tell me she's not just the prettiest dairy cow that you've ever seen. Of course, we're not milking her right now just because uh, she is pregnant, of course, but uh, if y'all remember that video, Bittersweet Transition, if you haven't watched it, it's a great video, but... Um, heated the, the dryer off as early as we did which now she had to been dried off anyway before she cast but uh, she is just so pretty she's my sweetheart just don't tell the other cows i like her more than than all the rest of them but she definitely is my favorite but she is just so pretty she looks good uh, we're hoping that I mean, we know she's bred by him so hopefully they'll throw off a mini jersey uh kind of like what Allie's gonna throw off in the next few days but uh but again she's just so pretty and there's nothing better than ending your day spending time with your cows uh, after a long day Aiden's worked hard I've worked hard and it's just been a fun day on the farm so God bless we hope you're enjoying our videos and uh, uh, share the max with uh, people you know that are like-minded that what you think that would like what we do uh, and again can't thank you enough for watching happy homesteading y'all